President Miles Hudson pleaded guilty in that Renton case to assaulting his mother in 2022. He was supposed to not have any new law violations for five years as a part of that guilty plea. But since then, he has been arrested again and is currently dealing with multiple ongoing criminal court cases. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, stop. Miles Hudson, the driver of the so-called Belltown Hellcat, back behind bars. After prosecutors say he failed to show up for a hearing and violated terms set in his guilty plea from a domestic violence case involving his mother. He pleaded guilty in that case and was ordered not to have any new law violations. But since then, he's been arrested again and has multiple ongoing court cases for reckless driving, stalking, and sharing intimate images of an ex. He was also due in court earlier this month on his rent and domestic violence case but didn't show up. He was in custody um, when this review hearing was to occur so he was not able to come to court unfortunately um, he was picked up on this matter because again Everybody seems to think this is a murder charge. This isn't the first time Hudson has been accused of violating conditions set by the court. Prosecutors in his reckless driving case out of Seattle say he violated terms of his electronic home monitoring multiple times and has also posted on social media, which violates his conditions of release. It's all about himself. I've seen some video on Instagram of him in his apartment when he was wearing the ankle bracelet and how he's laughing and joking. I think it's really funny. So I think just to him, it's just a big joke. Downtown Seattle residents are all too familiar with Hudson, who's known on social media for speeding loudly through the area in his so-called Belltown Hellcat vehicle. Maybe people who have money or people who are privileged or people who are entitled. I don't know this guy, but maybe they feel they can do whatever. And today in court, Hudson's attorney requested that he be released or for his bonds to be reduced, but a judge denied both of those requests. Hudson, meanwhile, is due back in court in this case on November 18th. Reporting live in Renton, Lynn Wynn, Como News.